I did say it. Yep. I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page as, as we kind of proceed. So let me give you guys a chance to ask any questions so far on how to use Battlescribe to cre create your, your lists. Question segment is done. Let's go into the next subject. All right, the next. All right, let's say that you've 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 sat there and you've you went to our server and you you got feedback on what you should bring on your list and now you're ready to play your list. You want to import that list. You need to import that list into the to to TTS so that you can actually get ready to play. Right. So here's what you need to do next. All right. Save your roster file. You're going to need that roster file, right? And now we're going to go to for people who have been on the stream. You've seen me bring this up a few times, but um, Battlescribe to TTS. Okay, I'm gonna link you guys this in chat so you guys can check this out. Whoops, I messed that up. Here you go, Battlescribe to TTS. By the way. All right, very very simple. Okay, let me make a really quick edit to this imperial list here. Let me swap out the knight plesk for like um, company commander, two company commanders. Um, one of them is going to have a power axe. The other one's going to be a warlord. He's going to have I don't know all this extra stuff here. This guy's just going to be chilling. Um, let me. What, what can I? What can I really help uh, nail in the point here? Let's go with um, you guys. This is going to be the coolest thing. Let's go with veterans, huh? Let's get some veterans in there. A few squads of veterans. Let's go with some scout sentinels. Why not? We'll fill this squad out. That's too many. Let's do another Scout Sentinel Squad. And this one's going to have last cannons, right? What else? What else? How about some Basilisks? Everybody likes Basilisks. One, two, three. There's a, there, there's a rule of three. Let's, let's duplicate that three times. Okay. 2019 okay uh, we have oh we've we're violating it we have too many selections from veterans so let's get rid of one of the veteran squads let's go let's get two too many selections from elites there we go all right so let's save this I'm gonna show you guys exactly how valuable this next step is okay so we saved our roster okay and now we're ready to upload it we're going to be uploading the roster file that we just created in battlescribe to battlescribe to tts okay so we're going to go over here battlescribe to tts.net we're going to go to upload roster okay we're going to come over to where's my battlescribe folder okay here we go test stream all right it's pretty fast it will give you this code here your roster code is this this is what you need by the way copy that all right now let's go back here i think we have in under maps and tools tools interesting Here we go. Battlescribe to TTS. I, I hope this is the... Is this an old one? Let's, I think this might be old. I'll have to update this. 
No, uh, no, it's updated. Okay. All right, so now, okay, we're in the battle scribe to TTS. By the way, this is in the Battle Forge. If you go to Maps, Tools, and Terrain, go to Tools, then go to Battle Scribe to TTS. You need this. And it's included with Battle Forge. All right. So now, what you want to do is you want to paste that code in, right? And you want to hit Submit Code. Now you should have this. It should show up here just like this. Okay. I'm going to explain this to you in just a moment. You, It will fall into place. I guarantee it. You're going to understand 100% what's going on. Um, so the uh the the this panel right here is requiring you to submit models so that the information can be placed into the models so what you need to do next is you need to go into your uh save files um since we're playing astra militarum cadian we're going to be going into astra militarum and then there's a few mods in here right we just need this one here's a quick thing that i like to do i like to hit a expand all right, and I need I need a commander, right? So we're still here in the expand menu. I hit commander in the search bar. All right, here we, we got one commander. We're gonna have two commanders. All right, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need veterans. Veteran, okay. Veteran sergeant. Veterans, okay. What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need a scout sentinel. Scout Sentinel. There he is. We're going to need a last cannon model. I'll show you that in a bit. And then we're also going to need basilisks. Okay. We've got two models in here for basilisks. That's fine. All right. So we have a we have a company commander. Uh, we're going to have two company commanders. We're going to have our veteran sergeant. We're going to have veterans. Did we also do the conscripts? Veteran company commander. No, we didn't actually do conscripts. Let me grab that really quick. I knew I was forgetting something. Back to Astra Militarum. Imperial Guard 1. Expand. Type in conscripts. Here we go. One simple conscript model. All right, so now in Imperial Guard 1, they have the save states, right? So there's one that has a last cannon in here. If And I'm pressing just number uh, the number pad key up here. Here's the last cannon variant. Okay, so we have the regular Scout Sentinel, and then we have a last cannon Scout Sentinel. We've got our Basilisks. We've got our Veteran Sergeant. We have Veterans. Okay, and they're using their basic last guns. We've got the two company commanders and we've got the conscript. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to assign these models to each of these panels. Okay, so all you would do is you would click, all right, it says pick up an object to set as the model for conscript. Okay, pick up the conscript. Bam, we're done. We did it on the company commander by accident. We're going to do it again. Boom. That's assigned. So what we're doing here is we're essentially assigning each of the models to each of these these things and it's going to it's going to be very apparent as to why we're doing that in just a second. All right, let's do one for the veteran with the last gun. That's her, by the way. Uh veteran sergeant. We're good here. All right, scout sentinel with the multi laser. That's our default boy here. And then uh scout sentinel with the last cannon. That's him right here. And then last but not least, the basilisks. All right. So now everything has been assigned to a panel here on Battlescribe to TTS. The next thing that we need to do is simply hit create army. We're going to wait for this to load. All right, still loading there. We've just saved ourselves so much time 
We've created all the, the, the different troops and they all have their profiles that are updated to Battlescribe. So if you actually hover over each, one, uh, each of these, they have their loadouts, they have their warlord traits, they have their weapon loadouts. Like here's our, here's our scout sentinels. Remember we had three, we had three multi lasers in the, 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 the Battlescribe, right? We have them right here. Here's last cannon, last cannon sentinels, right? He's got a last cannon. Check out our basilisk, huh? Not bad, huh? Here's our uh, here's our one squad a squad of conscripts, you know, and then we would just kind of you know we would sort these boys out, right? We'd want it's all one. Remember that we made uh, one squad of conscripts thirty instead of twenty. Here, here they are, right? Here's more. And and it goes so much more. We're going to get into the advanced stuff for these boys. But, you know, just to show you guys that this is this is quite easy to do with Battlescribe to TTS. How are you changing the formation of the models? Basically, you're highlighting over these, you're picking them up, and you're pressing number pad one to get a straight line. Not number pad one, I'm sorry. Uh, number one. It's very important because uh, that that is very specifically the... Here's two, here's three, here's four, here's five, here's six, up until six, right? Okay. Your two company commanders. I like to keep them nice and neat as best as I can because the next step that we're going to be doing here is we're going to be saving these it's it's uh yeah it's it's the number pad row not number number pad it's the it's the numbers on the the top of your your keys it's not numpad okay so now what I would do right next is that we would go ahead and highlight, make a selection over all these units. Okay. And then right click on one model that you think represents the, the army best, I guess a company commander is a more appropriate, huh? And then right click on him and then come to save object. Okay. And then we'll put TTS test stream. Now you can specify where you want to save these at, you know, maybe you want to organize your save objects. That's fine. You know, TTS test stream. I'm going to delete this later, but yeah. All right. Save. Okay. Now you're done. Everything that you did here, it's over. It's done. You don't need to, you don't need to mess with this any more than you do uh, now. So let's go, let's go back to our FTC map template, right? Let's go back to the FCC map template. I don't know what, what, what that is. I think it's really causing errors because I'm loading this map up so much. Yeah, I don't know what that was. All right, so next up, we're going to load in everything that we just did now. All right, now it's a saved objects, right? All you got to do is click and drag out. Boom, you're done. Okay, any questions?